how focusing on maths can actually improve your gait rank if you are writing the data science paper. Basically, there are three major chapters. One is probability and statistics, second linear algebra and also calculus and optimization out of which probability and statistics which is the core very important part writing DA and if you have also opted for computer science the syllabus is same and forget about gate even after gate if you wish to join any artificial intelligence or the machine learning branches probability and statistics along with linear algebra these two combinations definitely take you to gate heights okay hello I welcome you all back onto this channel I hope all of you are doing well so in this particular video I'm going to tell you the how focusing on maths can actually improve your gate rank if you are writing the data science paper okay data science and artificial intelligence paper so and how well math is going to play a role in it i want to tell you okay so if you see get data science or da and uh, basically artificial intelligence data science and artificial intelligence is introduced in the year 2024 by isc bangalore okay so in 2024 when it got included the syllabus is this even for gate 2025 we are going with the same syllabus there are no modifications so basically there are three major chapters one is probability and statistics second linear algebra and also calculus and optimization out of which probability and statistics which is the core very important part of any data science or anyone who is going to learn machine learning in fact okay so if you see i'll quickly go through the syllabus and then i'll give you a quick statistics of gate 2024 what how many people have written the exam and how if they have focused on maths how well they would have performed in get da paper okay so coming to probability and statistics i'm counting permutations and combinations of course probability axioms like the basic axioms okay where probability of pi is equal to zero probability of sample space is equal to one so there are certain basic axioms then sample space definitions and types of events like independent mutually exclusive then marginal probability conditional probability joint probability like we have functions dealing with two variables at the same time okay then base theorem of course conditional expectance and variance mean median mode statistics part and standard deviation correlation and covariance random variables both discrete and continuous random variables with probability mass functions okay and some special distributions of course okay probability distribution functions uniform exponential poison normal distribution and till here the syllabus is even common with the computer science paper okay so if you're writing da and if you have also opted for computer science the syllabus is same even till this point okay and the thing that's excess because of the statistics part is t distribution standard normal and t distributions chi square distributions cumulative distribution function conditional pdfs central limit theorem again one of the very powerful theorems in probability and statistics and confidence interval for dealing with statistics with certain tests like z t and chi square tests okay so this is the syllabus of probability and statistics for gate data science paper and forget about gate even after gate if you wish to join any artificial intelligence or the machine learning branches probability and statistics along with linear algebra these two combinations can definitely take you to gate heights okay in artificial intelligence or machine learning okay and coming to linear algebra we have the vector spaces subspaces dependence independence obviously matrix projection matrix okay matrices then projection matrix like if you project any vector with that with this matrix then what transformation you would get okay so orthogonal idempotent these all are again basic matrices like partition quadratic forms system of linear equations okay gauss elimination eigenvectors determinant rank nullity projections is something which is added here lu decomposition and svd okay singular value decompositions this is the syllabus of course okay i'm just giving you a glimpse of the syllabus and calculus and optimization it's almost same as the uh, basic what you have in the computer science syllabus okay one is the functions of single variable limit continuity differentiation taylor says concept of maximum minima optimization involving single variable okay so single variable optimization is again the same concept of maxima and uh, minima actually okay and when you go to multiple variable optimizations there are little hectic things but in single variable optimization there's nothing big you need to worry about okay we have very simple uh, techniques so this is the full syllabus and if you look at the full syllabus of the gate da this spreads over some 50 percent okay in fact i'll show you this is the website of gate 2024 actually okay so last year's website and because this is the year which it was introduced even if you open gate 2025 website of course so gate 2025 you can see the papers gate papers and syllabus you will have the same syllabus okay because there's no change in the syllabus of course so i'll just show you quickly data science and artificial intelligence this is the part which I have taken, of course, probability and statistics, linear algebra, calculus and optimization. And then after you have your technical subjects for uh, the four parts, which 
comprises your hundred percent of the syllabus. Now, I just want to give you one understanding that if you look at marks distribution of maths, okay, so this is of mathematics. I hope you can see the figures. So total marks that has come up is 34 marks, okay, which is greater than 1 by 3 of total, okay. So this came up for 34 marks out of which you see this almost probably and statistics hold 47 percent. This is 29.4 and 23.5 percentages, of course, okay. So out of 34 marks, in fact, if you see carefully. This game uh, came for around 20 marks, and these two together came for 14 marks, of course. Okay, so you can see it's almost like uh, around 50 percent, okay, more than 50, uh, slightly very close to the 50 percent mark. So, 34 marks is the total marks in mathematics with this particular distribution. And if you see aptitude, if you have focused on aptitude plus maths, you would have got 49 marks actually. Okay, you would have got 49 marks. and Forgetting about all the technical subjects, rest of the technical technical lessons like the deep co coding subjects. Okay, so apt plus maths would contribute for almost half of the paper, uh, you know, in DA. So that's why aptitude out of 15 people generally come with some 10 more than 10 marks in average. But if you focus on maths, this maths is going to play a very crucial role in gate DA. Okay, and if you see the statistics of last year, since after the exam, every exam, every organizing institute releases the statistical report. So if you see this full report, I would like to show you one very beautiful thing here, which you will see. Yeah, here it is. Okay. Raw marks. So let's see. Paper wise, a range of marks out of 100 of qualified candidates. Okay. So if you see for DA here, DA, there are people who did not score 11 to 20 then because I think the qualifying mark is somewhere about 21. So if you look at DA, if you go to a maximum of here, 90 to 100, there is only one student, 80 to 90, there are four students. So total five students, 70 to 80, there are five plus 73, 78 and 60 to 70, you got almost like 386. So 386 plus uh, 70, uh, this is 78. Okay. So almost like 364, 364 plus 50 to 60 is 1325, which means out of all these people who are the gate examination, if you have focused on maths plus apt plus let's say 15 marks you got in technical, for example, okay, your rank would have been definitely below 1000. Got it? So that's the power maths can give you in data science paper exclusively. And the syllabus is not very different or very complicated. In fact, you'll see like 70% of the syllabus matches with what you study in normal computer science paper or in any other maths paper in general. Okay. So that's how this 49 marks of apt plus maths could definitely give you a very good boost. So you can see for this subjects, okay, you can refer all of our resources on YouTube, whatever we have done, either me or Punit sir have done. And you can See, out of this 70%, out of this full syllabus of math, 70% definitely matches. So even if you get 70% marks out of this, which means you will be able to get almost like 22 to 23, 24 marks out of this 34 straight forward. Okay. And focusing on the extra syllabus can give you. If you look at the resources, like you can follow our YouTube channels. Okay. On telegrams, we have the doubt clearing sessions. You can follow all these sessions, which could greatly help you again. Okay. This is a very short video basically on how this maths can impact your score in DA because you can see based on the last year statistics, because we don't have some three, four years report. Okay. Because this paper got introduced only last year. So that's why I have made a very short video on this. So this maths plus 15 could make you easily square three digit rank actually okay and based on that you can get admissions at all uh, institutions of central importance like iits iisc and of course nits as well so this is a video which i want to make for this importance of maths in get da data science paper okay so thank you next time we'll come up with youtube sessions on this get da exclusively uh, maths for get da exclusively okay so that we can built up some important uh, videos, some important playlist so that everyone gets benefited out of it. Thank you.